Hi, and welcome to this short core um, routine. We're going to start right down on our backs, knees bent, feet hips width apart, and we're going to start by just doing some pelvic tilts. So we're going to take that lower back, press it down into the floor, hold that, just engage and feel those muscles sort of bracing you down into the floor, and then relax and let that pelvis tilt up a little bit. And then again, press down using your core muscles, using those transverse abdominis and rectus abdominis, internal and external obliques, using all of those muscles to brace down. And then let's release that. And then press and release. Just a few posterior and to your pelvic tilts. Just warming up the muscles, warming up the back, getting a, a feel for what that feels like to engage those muscles. Great. Now keeping the back down, lift your knees over your hips. So we have a 90 degree angle at our hips and then again a 90 degree angle at the knee. That lower back is firming down. We want to think of the ribs as sort of staying close as well. We don't want to be popping up and keeping everything firm to the floor. And then the shoulders stay. Relax and wide. We're going to hinge from our hip, tapping one heel and then the other. All doing that as we maintain that bracing or that stabilization through our core against the weight of the leg. And we're going to do 20 of those or 10 with each leg. So we're building some strength and some endurance and really. Um, feeling the work of the core, the um, abdomen, and you might notice that the back muscles, the, the whole torso, is really sort of bracing and involved and working together here. Four more. Three, two, and one. So we'll give those knees a little help, and we're going to firm the knees into our hands, and that's going to help us to decompress through the hip and the lower back as we give that lower back a little bit of a stretch. Really nice. Feet to the floor. Next exercise is bridging. So again, our legs are parallel. On the other side, palms down or palms up. We're going to start by lifting the tailbone, and then lifting the hips up, press up, roll back down. So lift up, press up, and roll back down. So we want to feel like Pressing down through the heels and the balls of our feet, pressing the hips up, so the hip extension here, and we're really engaging our glutes and our hamstrings. Another thing to think about is that as you're pressing down through the feet, you're lengthening those knees away, and that's going to keep that new spaciousness in your back. Otherwise, if you're pushing your feet towards you, we have sort of just a little bit more compression rather than maintaining that nice open, long spaciousness in the spine. So bridging, really great exercise for strengthening our glutes, hamstrings, and for stabilization through our pelvis and our lower back. Really firming through the feet. Let us just get a bit of extension. Feeling those glutes work. Let's do four more here. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. So we're going to come back into that bracing. So again, we're going to take that lower back, press it down into the floor. We're just going to slide the hands to the knees and then slide back down. Slide hands to the knees and slide back down. Sliding up. Pause, sliding down. So there's no momentum. We're really, really maintaining good control here. So we're using abdominal strength, not momentum, to create that lift and more. And you're sort of letting your knees just come towards your legs as you lift. And we'll just do four more here. And two more. 
and one more. Beautiful. So next we're going to come right into clamshell. And for clamshell, we're stacking our hips, our abdominals are engaged, and we have just a little space under our waist. So that instead of letting our body dump, we're staying really engaged through our torso. We're going to hinge open from the hip, bring that knee up as high as you can, pause, and lower. And we're not pushing off from the foot, we're letting the foot rest. But the motion and the movement is created from engaging the hip muscles, those gluteal muscles. Great exercise for building strength through our gluteals and really having um, great mobility in our hips. Really great for um, giving our back a good foundation as well. So flat shells can really be beneficial not just for your hips, but also for your back. Remember that when we think about working the core, we sometimes think about just abdominals, but the core is really the torso from your hips to your shoulders. It includes your abs, your back, everything but your limbs and your head and neck. Let's do four more here. Four, still engage, three, two, and one. So now take the shoulder blade, firm it into the back, and drop back for a little stretch. If that feels okay, we'll hold that for just a few breaths. Really good for our mobility, um, rotation through our midsection, and as well as mobility through our hips, and across our chest and into our shoulders. So clench on now on the opposite side. Switching sides. Lying on your side, knees are bent, um, the knees are stacked, the hips are stacked. We have a little space under our waist for engaging and um, staying strong in our core. Hinge open, pause at the top, and lower with control. So again, we have momentum here, all about moving through the muscles, getting that nice motion into that hip joint, really great. Nice steady breath. Then work. And our hip mobility and hip strength really helps us to carry ourselves with good posture and, and to have strength and stability in our hips. That's a nice foundation for our spine because remember our spine um, comes down right into our pelvis. So we want our framework core and hips to be strong and stable to support our posture, our skeleton, our um, to support us through movement. And one more. Good. Now we're going to take that shoulder blade from it into the back and then draw back if that feels okay. We'll stay there for a few breaths. And this may feel like it's too big of a stretch. You may want your arms just out to the side. If it feels okay, you can even turn your head opposite the knees just to increase that rotation into the cervical spine as well. And again, we're stretching through our hip, stretching through our midsection, stretching across the chest into our shoulders. Really good stretch for mobility. One last core exercise for today is a plank. And when we do a plank, we want to make sure that we're maintaining really good form. If you feel like you're not able to maintain good form, come down and rest. And then try again um, once you've recovered some. We're going to come down onto our forearms and we want our elbows and shoulders in line. We're going to step those feet back. And we want the shoulders over the wrists and we want the tailbone to tuck. So as we tuck the tailbone, we can feel that like we're really engaging our abs and not letting that back sway. So we want those abs to be lifting and supporting our weight up off the floor, working um, against gravity. So elbows and shoulders in line. So we'll tuck a little bit. 
shoulders over wrists. And tucking that tailbone rather than letting the back sway. You give you that strength and stability in your plank. You hold that for 30 seconds. If you, again, feel like you're not able to maintain good form, go ahead and put it down, take a break, break, and then see if you can come back up with good form. So as you're going up away from the floor, tailbone is tucking, firming down away from the floor through our forearms and through our feet. Keeping the breath steady. And five seconds to be total of 30. Lower the knees, sit back to your heels to whatever level feels okay to you. Standing the arms forward. Feel free to have this head stay off the floor or if it feels okay, can rest down onto the floor. Then the elbows and let the forearm rest. Really nice stretch for back, hips, and knees as well as stretching out through our shoulders and into our lats as well. A couple of cat and cows crossing the floor away as you round the spine and keeping the arms nice and straight as you extend the spine. Rounding the spine, tuck the tailbone and the crown of the head down, scoop the belly up, lengthen the spine as you extend, a little bit of a, an arch in your back, but stay long and don't let go of your core. Have the core sort of stabilizing and just supporting that extended spine. Exhale as you round. As you inhale, you can extend. Round in the spine, cat. Exhale. Extend, extend the spine. Inhale. Round, tuck the tailbone under, push the floor away, scoop the belly in, lengthen and extend, and then one last time, sitting back to your heels, resting the forehead, even to the floor, if that doesn't work, to your fists. Okay, so that, uh, that's just a short core workout. Hitting some really important um, core strengthening exercises. So that's a quick little core workout with some really um, great exercises that you can do maybe every other day, a couple times a week at least, to strengthen your, your core, including the abdominals, including your hips, stability through your back and through your shoulders. So a strong core, supports and stabilizes your spine, your shoulders, your hips, allows you to move better, be more free in your body, and it's also very protective against back injuries and, and um, other things. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.